Good morning. <laughs> hmm. Let me begin, I guess, by saying I'm sorry that I did not spend a little bit more time in meditation prior to yesterday's talk. As I said at the time, I had actually done a talk at 1 1 1, 1 11 a.m. And then I did the one yesterday at what, 5 5 5? And I hadn't been up very much. I didn't get to bed till 2 o'clock the night before. And I didn't go into the meditation room at all. And I basically got up and read the emails and the one from the lady that I shared yesterday. But it's amazing how much conversation that one from yesterday created both on YouTube and Facebook, more on Facebook than YouTube, but a lot of dialogue was going on, a lot of interesting discussion back and forth. I did spend a lot more time meditating this morning, and uh, I'm going to actually be sharing what I shared yesterday. I was in a meeting of the Republic yesterday and I had been asked to create some type of a document that could be put together to hand out to people as information and it was suggested after I shared it yesterday at the meeting that I shared on one of the videos so that it could go out to a wider audience and I agreed that I would do that so today I'm doing that. The title is What is the United States of America? Do you really know? Surprise! The United States of America, all in capital letters, is not a nation. It is a privately owned, for-profit corporation where the owners are an elite cabal of international bankers made enormously wealthy by controlling the flow of information in order to keep the masses in subservient ignorance so as not to interrupt the transfer of wealth into the coffers of the super rich ruling class and their well-paid minions. The controlling group is known as the Federal Reserve Bank or simply the Fed. Did you know there are actually two government entities, one hidden and the one we see every day. The Republic for the United States of America has been hidden for most of our history. It is the corporate government that most believe is the real nation called the U.S. of A. The hidden Republic is known as the de jure government that derives its po legitimate power from the people it is duty-bound to serve. The visible one is de facto, in name only, and derives its authority from the bankers. The corporate government is a legal fiction, as are all corporations. All branches of government, even down to the local level, are sub-corporations of the Federal Corporation in Washington, District of Columbia. It borrows money at interest from the bankers to run things, which is where we get our national debt that keeps rising. Did you know the corporate government keeps going bankrupt, unable to pay its debt? Taxes of many varieties go to pay the interest on the debt, not the principal. Operating expenses come from borrowing more money, creating more debt. Do you have any idea what the corporate government uses as collateral for its debt? We the people. They have made each of us a corporation. Legal fiction. Our labor and creativity are literally stolen without our conscious knowledge or consent. Yet we do give consent through ignorance by accepting the offer of services or privileges. The system is so huge 
so widespread that few could see it until fairly recently. Now, many are waking up. People all over America and other countries too are rediscovering the principles of freedom. That's what all the protests, or at least the many of them, are all about. People waking up. In the United States, the original republic has been reseated. People from every state, from all walks of life, have volunteered to reestablish de jure government to serve all the people, not just the corporate interests of the ruling class. In each state, positions in the executive, legislative, and judicial branches have been filled. County assemblies and grand juries are being formed to further awaken and empower all that are ready to take responsibility for reshaping our future based on principles of freedom and justice. What can you do? And I'm interjecting here. This is what they really wanted. They wanted to inform people what we can do to help change things. Anyway, I'm back to reading again. The most important thing anyone can do is to educate him or herself. Do not look to mainstream news to get your information about much of anything. Learn what you don't know from independent sources of information, mostly on the Internet. Realize that it is our conscious awareness that is driving the changes taking place. Realize that the world we see out there reflects our consciousness in here. Everything changes from the inside out. If it's not in you, you cannot even see it out there. Begin with others, begin meeting with others in small groups to discuss what you are learning. This provides both support and encouragement just to know that you are not alone. Develop spiritual practices that help you center and open to higher guidance. Remember, this is a spiritual awakening arising from the very soul of man. Practice forgiveness. Start with yourself, then those you love. Let your circle expand until you are even able to forgive your so-called enemies from your heart. Learn to follow your hunches and depend more on intuition. Watch for synchronicities that abound at this time. When you have an opportunity to serve in a greater capacity, take it. Help those that are struggling by being supportive in whatever way possible. As you may feel led, write to those in positions of authority to let them know what you see. Pray for those that are in authority, regardless of how you may view them. Learn to be an observer of your own thoughts and actions. With, withhold judgment of yourself and others to the best of your ability. Do your best to rise above all the fear-mongering being spread in the media. Visualize where we are going rather than getting caught up in how it has always been. The past is like an anchor that keeps us stuck, while the future can be a rocket ship propelling us all toward new visions, vistas of achievement. Think outside the box. Become a possibility thinker. Open your mind and heart to the unlimited. Expand or express gratitude for many things every day. Learn to be more of a cheerleader than a critic. Make your own list of what you can do. Then do it. 
to quote a famous American, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. This is our opportunity to change the world we live in forever. It is up to us. We are the ones we have been waiting for all along. As I said, this is a spiritual awakening that's happening. People need to understand that it's not just America that is a corporation. Virtually the entire structured world is a corporation operating under the control of international bankers. Your nation, whether it's in Europe, Latin America, Asia, Australia, New Zealand, wherever your country may be, whatever its name, most likely the greatest influence in your country is still under the control of the central bankers. Even China and Japan and the nations in the Orient that are finally getting the guts to stand up as well as in the Middle East and in, well all over, actually all over. The governor reported yesterday that all but three nations of the world have now signed on to recognize the Republic as the official government in the United States of America, which makes it a de jure nation, not a de facto nation. But de facto nations have been the rule for all of my lifetime and every one of you until very, very recently. I mean, last year, this year, we're starting to change that. And there's a lot of, yes, there's a lot of confusion in the Republic. I'm not going to say that there's no confusion. When you're coming out of confusion, many people are still stuck in it and still fighting for their ego and do not understand the principles. And as I stated in the meeting yesterday, there are factions even here in Florida and across the United States where various counties are setting themselves up not under the umbrella. There has to be the umbrella. It's not a top-down thing. It's a servant role to help the organization and to, and to have official recognition. What is official recognition? It's the recognition of a government structured under God, which is a republic. And republics are being reestablished all over the world. It's happening. It's happening quickly. Watch. The key is the economic structure. People don't like politics and religion because they think it's not spiritual. But I'm telling you, the spiritual changes are precipitated by the changes in the economic structure of our planet. This is where it happens first. And it has to happen there first because that's where all of the fraud and the deception and the corruption have originated. And it has penetrated into every aspect of our culture, our religions, our schools, our, yes, of course, our governments and our corporations. Everything has been infiltrated by this pernicious evil of a monetary system that has devalued human life itself and devalued the planet and raped and pillaged all over the face of the earth so that we could wake up. Hear me, it has been done so that we could wake up and we are waking up. And this is the most beautiful thing in the world. Recognize the reality of things being an illusion because that is the reality of things. It is a fraud. Recognize that educate yourself, become aware. Thank you for listening once again as I share from my heart the perception, my perception of what is going on. May you be blessed today. Namaste.